Hitman 2 2, this is 2 1 Bravo. I got her has a silhouette at a 9 o'clock, two clicks out. Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, a new show. This is the first episode of Generation Kill. Get some. Get some! Get some! Let's rock! If you've seen my reaction to the Pacific, then you already know, but if you don't, here it goes. I was active duty Marine Corps from 2001 in December uh, until 2006. Uh, I was just an air wing, POG or POG, I've heard both pronunciations, just up and down the East Coast, nowhere special. I was eye level maintenance on the Prowler, the EA-6B, which has I think since been retired, but it would have been flying at the time of this. Uh, it'll be interesting to finally be watching something that's more contemporary closer in time to my experience in the military because it's like you can see in vietnam movies sometimes they'll have like an m16 a2 suppressor on it should be an m16 a1 and it's like wait a minute that's not out yet or you know like going back to world war ii you might see something that's like it's not a korean war weapon that wasn't out yet but like the, the further back in time you go you can kind of flub things uh well, I guess, I guess if you're knowledgeable, you can't, but from my experience, things get hazy, you know, because I'm, I'm not a historian. Of course, we were taught the things in boot camp. We were taught the histories and the lessons and the battles, but that was more than 20 years ago. That knowledge fades over time. I've done a lot of rambling. Suffice to say, this is probably more up my wheelhouse than the Pacific because it's at the same time <laughs> that I served and involved world events and possibly equipment and planes. I don't know if we'll get a shout out to the Prowler or not, but I just know that when when it ran with missions, you know, it's, it's nice having that little, you know, electric dome, <laughs> that little blanket around your convoy, keeping keeping signals from, uh, you know, not detonating roadside devices. But So, as with every show and or movie, I will have to edit, cut things down, omit parts, blur things, censor audio, blur screen whatever it's what we got to do for the youtube you know to keep it legit with copyright and all that so if you're interested in full-length reactions i mean i have them i've been saving for them for everything i've ever made but have not posted them there is no patreon it's uh, all just locking away in a vault collecting dust because i'm not that ambitious and i think trying to make money off of these things would maybe take the fun out of it i don't know or, or make it feel too not like a hobby i don't know who cares? We're not here for the psychology lesson. What is going on? Okay, so here we go. We're going to get into it. This is the first episode of Generation Kill. Get some. Here we go. Can't tell if this or Abrams or Humvees. Audio jump scares or... Uh... <laughs> At 50, that's right. Happiness is a belt fed weapon. I'm a fan of the Mark 29 myself, the automatic grenade launcher. We got fucking Cobras coming in too. Vipers, Cobras, I'm getting them crossed up. Is this, is this training? Did somebody actually take a hit or take shrapnel or something? Or is this simulating a casualty event? The isomats and the fucking... The... Oh, I recognize the gear. How's it feel to be fucking dead? Bro, oh, it feels sad. Uh, <laughs> I feel very alone. It's the first time the boys got the live fire in Mark 19's in the city. Yeah. Jack, Might be the only chance we get before we step off. Fucking Kuwait, man. Got the gas mask on the left hip. That's where everybody's gas mask goes. So when you get the signal, fucking left hand opens the pouch, right hand pull. Like, I haven't done it in years, but I still know how to clear the mask. Like, they drill it into you. People have been fighting over this bitch since ancient times, dog. How many graves are standing up? In the love, in the wives and children, it's in their hearts. Philosophical piss segment in here. All the hate took to blow these motherfuckers away. All right. Glassed it. It's a disabled vehicle. It's static over. You know, people forget. Yeah, 
All right, so these guys are definitely infantry, possibly recon. The blood, get the blood choking, yeah, yeah. Jalo's dead. Bullshit. Anybody hurt? No. It was a 203. It's a miracle no one was killed. That's an underslung grenade launcher around for that, yeah. If we're lucky, Saddam will back down, let the inspectors in, and we can go home. We wanted to know if you knew anything about J-Lo being killed. Ray, the battalion commander, offered no sit rep as to J-Lo status. <laughs> no sit rep as to J-Lo. <laughs> I mean, that could be Jennifer Lopez. That could be Jennifer Love Hewitt. Since when did the Marine Corps start letting in faggots? For drinking tea. Or maybe brewing their own coffee, whatever that was. Shooting Rudy. <laughs> that is some shit you can sell right there. Gay porn, Lily. You will be gay for the pay. <laughs> Fucking bag of rocks. <laughs> Fucking hard charging right here. My God. I love you, Fruity Rudy. Get the fuck out of my way. And our ongoing preparations to enhance our readiness here in Kuwait. What does Godfather think? I was wondering why he sounded like Vito. Rolling through Iraq in open top Humvees is completely outside of what First Recon does. Recon, Why not okay. like it? I just got this bucket five days ago, dog. This is like Gilligan's Island. They're giving us rocks and coconuts to make radios work. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, They're not too wrong. I would have think that like Motor T or the Motor Pool would do would do all the maintenance. Maybe that's a thing of recon where they have to be self reliant. My Marines have been working on that Humvee all morning. I don't care. I don't care. He will not traipse around on the deck with his shark tails hanging out. Your mustache hair is in violation. Yeah, the Sergeant Major may be a little too much of a hard charger, but listen to this, dear Mr. Army Man. Army. Ah. That. <laughs> I am oh, fuck. That you are being brave in defending our country against the terrorists. They are bad, and I am glad that you are going to catch them. Just hoping for the chance to dismember my enemies and defile their civilizations. It reminds me of somebody. I can't place it, though. Except for Brad Colbert over here, who actually thinks that his mail order turret is going to come in before we step off. Sorry, Brad. But no. I think that's enough. You should be rocking it like me, Patty. Hitler's stash is red. Ah, uh, so, no, no. <laughs> and you're sitting there trying to clean your weapon and then the wall collapses. Yeah, so far they've done a really good job of introducing these uh, recon marines and how they operate, how close they are together, how, how open they are. <laughs> Questionably open with each other they are. Fuck if they don't give us a dope smoking peace freak ryer. Christensen! Faggot. Show Rolling Stone magazine where to stow his shit. <laughs> Could be worse. I used to write for Hustler. Right now, yeah. You have their attention. Did you write for Hustler? Race traders. Sedgenating with the muds. Sedgenating? What? What? <laughs> Is that a word? Ain't you gonna say something? Just not into that racial thing, man. All right. Join us, Border Patrol, and shoot us some wet backs. Jesus Christ, man. We all got jobs to do. Sergeant Major Six's job is to be an asshole. And he excels at the position. Corporal Person sustained minor injuries when a cook stove being operated according to regulations suffered a catastrophic failure. They got a great cover story, don't they? I observed the stove malfunction and the swift action of my Marines to treat Corporal Person. You might want to consider writing up some of these men for commendation. I will consider that, sir. Put a shit on the line to keep things at the lowest level possible. Always settle shit at the lowest level possible. The higher up the chain you get, the dubber things become. Triple A batteries. They won't sell this stuff in quantity to actual military personnel. Or civilians like yourself. The sky's the limit. And why is that? To keep us angry. Is he is he selling shit really expensive? Just when I thought I stopped loving the Marine Corps, they go and they do this. Sit, <laughs> dog. Yeah, something's gonna happen soon. Sir, is there a reason we got pizza delivered today? Map for your team leaders. The whole AO to the Euphrates. I was gonna bring it up in our briefing tomorrow. It's nice of him to fucking mention it. 
I mean, you know now it's better than finding out tomorrow and having less time to pack up. Can I have just one final moment enjoying the fruits of civilization? We are breaking open the mob suits. Budweiser. They're rated to maintain their effectiveness. Oh, oh God, the NBC mob suits sure in the desert now. get fucked. This is horrible. If we are fighting in a chemical environment and we get shot, how are they going to cast back us if we're dirty? They're not. What? <laughs> Hit in a chemical environment, you're fucked anyway. How come the reporter gets desert? America is watching. That Sergeant Major is annoying as shit. God, Father. Watch Marines Kill on three. I don't like his accent or cadence or whatever it is about the Sergeant Major. It's just Dismiss Absolutely badasses. Let's pack him in. There it is, that's the Mark 29. That's my baby, that's the automatic grenade launcher, the belt fed. That is a bad motherfucker. Do you mean you guys are invading Iraq with just one translator? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Want some dip? Man, some of those 50s are open. There's no, there's nothing around them at all. Yeah, you're already vulnerable enough being the torso top half sticking out of a turret. Having no walls, nothing around you? Jesus. Matilda. Matilda Smedius, voice actor for uh, Brigitte. If we shoot civilians, we're going to turn the populace against us and lose this war. But I don't want to lose Marines because we are not aggressive. Oh, yeah, that's the reporter guy because he's got the desert uh, mop gear. No one else does. That's least he stands out. I forgot to spit out my tobacco, so I had to swallow it. Ah! And this suit is uh, too small. Fuck. You know, it doesn't make you gay if you think Rudy's hot. We all think he's hot. Jesus, you're beautiful. Actually, I'm going to hell out here. Back home, all I eat is sushi and vegetables. <laughs> I don't dress like no goddamn pimp queen. I wear clothes that are body conscious. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've not come to harm innocent people. Or threaten their way of life. But if you bump into an Iraqi who wants to fight, you will fucking kick his ass. Yeah, so I, I thought he was just doing a voice, but th does this guy actually have that sort of voice? Find those batteries yet for my night vision gear, Gunny? It's a goddamn sucker punch. Yeah, and I inherited that mess from some pogue who fucked it all up before I even got near it. Some pogue. Uh. We're not getting escort tanks or cobras going over the border. We have prowlers. We have ECM coverage. I want to see my baby flying around. I like to flown that plane to drop a bomb on Japan. A couple of dudes killed hundreds of thousands. That fucking rules. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's always one of those guys, just completely callous and just openly hostile and not giving a fuck at at any time. Lack of pussy is the root fucking cause of all global instability. If more Hajis were getting quality pussy, there'd be no reason for us to come over here and fuck them up like this. Because a nut-busted Haji is a happy Haji. I've heard the same thing said about air conditioning, marijuana. Uh, if invested more in the pussy infrastructure of Iraq... The pussy infrastructure. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop scribbling. It encourages him. The whole story will be that one guy's ramblings and ravings. I just waved in an Iraqi, and he waved back. That was cool. But s some places would be welcoming, and some places wouldn't. And I guess it depends on when it happened, and how long we'd been there, and how long we'd been fucking up for. Anyone want charms? I still have a pack of those. Never, ever let charms into this vehicle again. Nobody lets charms bad into luck. the whole fucking United States Marine Corps. It's bad luck. <laughs> charms are bad luck. Fuck you. I still have a pack. Probably can't eat them, but... You gotta rotate guys, get him some sleep. He's just a boy, and I'm just a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Make it yeah, for you. you. 
There's gonna be an explosion or something's gonna have to interrupt this. Tighter shots too. For my band open up for Limp Biscuit in Kansas City, we fucking suck. Ah. Uh. Then again, so did they. The only difference is, is they became famous and I became a Marine. <laughs> like mop suits are so horrible to wear. Even in North Carolina, they're horrible to wear. I can't imagine being in the desert. Under Iraqis in marked victors with weapons pointed at us. Over. ROE stage uniform soldiers only. Hmm. Negative. Wave them off. <laughs> man out. Oh, had a beautiful headshot. We all did. <laughs> we all did. You don't know though who they were, but different when your ass is there and people are <laughs> pointing guns at you potentially. We, gentlemen, are the northernmost unit in Iraq. What is your voice sound that way? Throat cancer. Hmm. Okay. Hey, smoker. Huh? Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> ah! Throwing scraps to the dogs. What's your MRE, bro? This is the pork chop one. That's garbage. I said it. You shoot me a dog. No, you're not, Trombley. Give away your position for a fucking there. dog. Yeah. Yes, Sergeant, I see seven. People in the back could have an RPG or a rifle, anything. Or they're just Counted over six. walking away. Prison rules, dog, just like LA. Knife in the water, okay. They are just the civilians playing Basra. They are greatly to be liberated by the Americans. This is the shit PSYOPs dropped on Iraqi forces. Promising safe passage to any who surrender to the Americans. There are Iraqi military death squads. They're executing Iraqi soldiers. Oh, what? Death squad dudes are in white SUVs with red diamonds on them. Oh, shit. We saw them earlier. Sir, under Articles 13 and 20 of the Geneva Convention, we're obligated to take care of and protect any fuckers who surrender to us. Division has ordered us to unsurrender these Iraqis. To unsurrender them. Holy shit. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. We're out of here. Iraqi's first contact with Americans. The translator is just stealing shit? I want to see them shoot the fucking grenade launcher. They keep teasing me. They keep teasing me. Yeah, I'm surprised so far there hasn't been a mishap. Like a hothead or someone misinterpreting a sign or just taking initiative to reveal position or anything. With the trucks, with the dogs, with these people. Just so far so good. Wow, and it was all contrary to the the episode of Get Some, the, the idea, because they, they didn't. It, it was everyone just held back. Okay, let's get to the outro. All right, Generation Kill Episode 1, Get Some. In the northern desert of Kuwait, first recon marines prepared to invade Iraq as the tip of the spear, hey, for Operation Iraqi Freedom. Okay. Okay, so that was a hell of a first episode. It, it really did feel a lot like, uh, you know, between the type of language that's used and uh, the, the equipment that's that, that they're using and, and, and just things that I've heard peripherally in the background and from other people. It's just it's, it's just really syncing up with my experience in the military, even though I was air wing Marines. I was just stuck on the East Coast, had nothing like their experience, but it feels very familiar it feels very genuine and i appreciate everything i've seen thus far they showed us those mark 29s a few times man i'm just i'm just ready for those fuckers to pop off and it would be nice to either see a prowler or get mention of a prowler or have somebody talk about um you know coverage or you know some some sort of counter to the uh explosive improvised bombs and everything but that That'll probably be a problem later in the series. They're still, in this episode, establishing themselves. Getting, you know, pushing towards where they're going up towards Baghdad, I believe. And, uh, you know, tip of the spear. I'm really bad with names, so it's it's going to take me a little while, an episode or two or three, to between seeing them in the show and then editing, you know, it'll it'll eventually burn in. But with shows like The Pacific, and I'm sure like this, you know, some characters you get to learn or finally get a, a, a handle for them, and they get killed, or they get injured, or something happens. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm looking forward to more, but it will be another day, because this does it for me for now. Thank you all so much for being here, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Thanks again, and goodbye.